Nerd Alert! I'm Khaleesi Grimes82, and I am super pumped to talk about my favorite MCU show to date! WandaVision, baby! Look, I know there's been like a kabillion Marvel movies now, okay? And I know that every single one that comes out after the last one is the best one! So now, at this very moment, WandaVision takes the top crown. I love what Elizabeth Olsen has done to the character of Wanda. I think it's just genius that she has so many different accents for her voice. Sometimes she's Russian, sometimes she's Transylvanian, sometimes she's American. We just don't know what we're gonna get. And that's what makes her character so perfect. I love that her voice is inconsistent. What's so genius about the MCU in general is when they do make mistakes. Like, I'm not saying that her voice is a mistake. I don't think it is. It can't be. It isn't. It's not. But if it was, it's so brilliant because the Marvel writers over there are like super geniuses. They can just make a throwaway joke that the villain can possibly point out and then the audience can go, <laughs> yeah, your accent comes and goes. I can relate to that. I've said that to my friends before. If you don't know what WandaVision is by now, then, um... <laughs> um... Uh, kill yourself! Because you should have been watching this for weeks! You owe it to Disney! and the remarkable people who take the time to put their blood, sweat, tears, semen, everything into these films. This show is exclusive to Disney Plus. It's not a movie, it's a show. It's on Disney Plus. And if you don't have Disney Plus by now, <laughs> kill yourself. I literally watch literally every episode, literally all the time. I'm literally watching the show literally all the time. And what's just so wild and crazy kids about this show is that every episode's completely different. It's just bonkers. It's totally nuts. You, you'll have a black and white throwback episode to I Love Lucy, which I love Lucy, right? Because she's like, she was like the original trendsetter, you know? People don't know this, but like, women, women didn't really have a place in movies until just recently, until like Captain Marvel came out. Women just weren't in movies, ever. There was like no women, ever, in leading roles. Except for like some exceptions here and there. And one of those exceptions was I Love Lucy that featured one of, if not the best, strong female lead. time. Malcolm in the Middle! <laughs> I love Malcolm in the Middle. It was fun to do a show based off of that. I'm pretty sure Modern Family slash The Office was kind of like a style of one of them, which was super fun. I, I think that's cool. That's a lot of fun. But the show's not just all kippers and cocks. There's serious elements in this too. Like super serious shit goes down in this. To simplify this show for people that maybe not have seen this yet, Wanda has essentially taken a town hostage. She, she has altered the, the, the minds of all these people. She's controlling them. She's manipulating them to, to be part of her world under the sea like Little Mermaid. <laughs> Another Disney property. <laughs> Subscribe for Disney. Outside of this event though, people are like pissed that this is going on. It's like, it's like not cool. It's literally not cool that Wanda has taken over this town. And I think that's, I think that's a fair judgment. Even though I love Wanda and I think she's like the best character until the next movie comes out. I, I think it's like a little, I don't want to say bad, but it's a little unfortunate that she's deciding to go this route. She's in pain, I get it. I remember when I lost my dog, Sansa Grimes, years earlier. I cried for days in bed until I eventually went across the street and stole the neighbor's dog, left a really scary ransom note, sent them off on some wild goose chase that they would never be able to solve because it was all nonsense, raised the dog as my own. Um, I mean, it was unfortunate for my neighbors, but I felt better. 
And that's how I, I relate to Wanda, you know? That, that's how we relate, we connect. This is a relatable show! So the people outside of this town are just desperately trying to figure this out. You have Kat Dennings, who I love, hot, super hot, hot as shit, thick, T-H-I-C-C, C, Asian guy from Ant-Man, other Jim from The Office. I just, there, there's so many great characters in this show. I just can't get over it. I actually don't even know what the point of this video is when I started it. I guess I was just talking about how cool WandaVision is and expressing my joy over it. So if you like WandaVision, shout out in the comments below. We'll talk about it, we'll have some fun. Maybe you have a dog or one that you stole from your neighbor too and we can relate there as well. Cool beans. Make sure to subscribe to The Cringe. Hit the notification bell on YouTube because the site is broken otherwise. I don't think that bell does anything. <laughs> it probably does. All right, bye. Then you have Vision too. Uh, Vision's great, I like Vision, Vision's fun, but it's really a wand of vehicle at the end of the day, and that's, I think, what the fans want. That's, I think that's what everybody wants. Well, what's so crazy about it is this thing's budget must be like a billion dollars, which is a number I think I just made up. It might be a real...